Connect Women's Volleyball coach, Julie Fowler, to talk a little bit about Brent Hawks Volleyball. And coach, first off, let's talk a little bit about last week. Uh, you went 2-1, but you had two big home games uh, over an OBC play against uh, Austin Peay, kind of a rival, and then Murray State as well. Talk about last weekend. Um, last weekend was really good for us, you know, to go 2-0 for OBC play was great. Um, you know, Austin P was someone that we really wanted to beat last year and, and kind of um, established that last year, which was great. And um, it's still a big rivalry for them. Uh, and they were happy to pull that out before. We really played tough, and it's a tightly contested match, but uh, we took care of things on our end. And uh, Murray State, you know, a regional rival, they have a Cape Girardeau person on their team, so we always get a good crowd, and we really want to do well in that match. And, and we did. We took care of things. Happy to be at home to do that, and uh, looking forward to continuing that this weekend. Now, last week against Murray State, uh, your first sweep in OBC play this year. Uh, talk about the play your outsides, Brittany Kalinowski and Colleen Yarber, uh, really lit up, lit up uh, Murray State uh, from the outside last week. Yeah, very proud of our outsides. Um, we're having a well-balanced attack overall, um, but the outsides did really well um, because our middles are pulling the block and then they can have one-on-one -on -one situations. Um, and we're taking advantage of other teams' weaknesses, which is generally the setter blocking. Um, for most of the OVC setters, they're a little bit smaller and we can take advantage of that. And, and our um, outsides did a great job of that, um, hitting down the line and just and finding weaknesses in their defense, tipping and using some shots. So being very productive on the outside. Now talk a little bit about, uh, you are talking about that balance attack. Talk a little bit about how really important that is. One person may be off, but you have another player, or maybe two players that step up that night. Talk about how important that really is for your squad. Oh, it's so important to have a well-balanced attack. I mean, last year uh, we did some very nice things, but a lot of times we only had maybe two people contributing each match, and it kind of varied as to who that was. And now we've got four, five, sometimes even six attackers, with uh, including our setter, um, really putting away enough balls to, uh, to help us win the game. So it's so important. Um, to have different people stepping up at all times, and as long as we've got you know three, four people on for the night, um, everyone else can kind of sit in their roles, and uh, we can get wins that way. Now, a really unique thing that happened on Friday night it was Survivor Night, as everybody knows, it's Dig for Life Month here. Uh, talk a little bit how great of a thing that was on Friday night. A lot of fans here, and uh, they gave them a nice round of applause and well deserved as well. Yeah, it was a very great, uh, a great night for us. We're really happy we can honor people um, in the Southeast Missouri area uh, who are breast cancer survivors. Uh, just it's nice to put uh, kind of faces out there so people um, can realize how close to home this disease obviously is, and it's very close to our um, Red Hawk family. Uh, Taylor Masterson's mom has battled the disease and 10 years in remission now, which is great. And uh, it's just really nice that we can honor those people. And we want to continue that tradition. It was a really great experience for uh, those of you who were there on Friday night. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about this weekend, undefeated in OVC play. You welcome some teams from the East, a very good team in Belmont. They won the Atlantic Sun last year, but then you also bring, bring in Tennessee State, who lost a lot from last year, but they're still very talented. Mm -hmm. uh, this weekend's going to be um, a lot more challenging for us, and uh, I'm happy we're at home. I think it's a great stepping stone for us as we continue to hopefully peak here as the season progresses. And uh, they're both 4-2 in conference play. It's going to be a very tough weekend for us. Uh, we have to focus on our side of the, of the net, obviously playing Red Hawk ball. Um, and they're very similar teams. So this week in practice, we've really been working, working on um, defending active setters. They both have active setters. They both have good lefty-right side hitters. Um, so we worked on defending that and, um, and kind of setting up um, one of our sides to be our opponents for this weekend so we can kind of prepare for each game. 